hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to generate a csv file for the specific language translation and re-import in the odoo and in case you missed previous discussion about how you can directly translate one language to another language in odoo without any po or the csv file plus how you can also translate the fields in the odoo and how you can also translate python code from one language to the another language please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo with different topics first you can visit the weblens channel under the playlist you can see odoo development playlist available here you can see different playlist available with different topic wise with the real test cases and in case you need any support related odoo you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address source code also available in the github make sure you can follow that repository and we have a social media pages make sure you can follow those one to get the latest notification so let's back to our main topic like how you can create a csv file and re-import in the odoo so first thing is if you already know we created three different languages right so you can see arabic english and hindi what is the difference between the arabic and hindi i mean in the interface level right like here in the arabic almost translation is available but for this language is not available right so we will try to focus to this language at the moment to generate some missing translation so for that uh, let me go to in the settings and here you can see this translation menu is available right and if you go to the translated terms right here i will try to find out that module the school underscore student module which we already created right and here you can see surprisingly there is no translation available for arabic as well as hindi right so now what i will do is like there is a feature in odoo we can use right like let's say first thing is we can use the export functionality if you will click like this way so all the active languages you can see here i want to generate a csv file for the hindi language right and rather this po file first i will prefer the csv file and here i will try to add here the module name so let's say my module name is school student this one you can also add as much right but it depends on your translation based on your demands you can add here like this way the select you can select here the modules after that you have to sell export and you can see here it's generated csv file so this hi underscore in this is the language code in odoo okay if i will try to download here so i will try to download in my local system in the my project all right we don't need to open to any specific software i mean in the LibreOffice or excel file or like let's say in the mac os numbers right we have to open that file from here in the editor like this and you can see here list of translations are available okay here the first thing is let me close this one all right after that uh, let me go to here and i will first try to find out school dot student so you can see those are the database values for the name field so we will not translate at the moment this one but first our goal is to translate the view files so for the view files uh, let me duplicate this tab i will go to the student profile in the list view right you can see it's available in the english language and you can see here i choose and here i will try to change to the hindi language and i will click to sell and you can see only this that is translate into the hindi language rest you can see the names the label name and all the label name and all it's available in the english version right still it's english version so first thing is we have to identify let's say module name so for that like i will use here 
so first thing is this is the module name after the fields we need to uh, let's say translate right so we have to add here field underscore and then after let's say school student all right and you can see those are the fields uh, those are the label names all right we have to translate now let's go to the first line you can see this one so this is the module uh, sorry the module then after this is the type name resid this is the source code source code always in the english language or based on your input in the python or the xml side what whatsoever you used right so that name is available here and translated value we need to provide and the comment if you have so right now we have like line number two to line number 163 till you can see only one two three four and five five fields data available here all right after that we have to provide this value so for that let me again search let's say school underscore student the field school underscore student all right and here you can see it's generated with the value also right so this is the english version and this is the hindi version but let's i don't want to use this english name rather like i will replace with the hindi language okay so simple i will go to here in the google translation and simple i will try to replace So let's say a few labels also not available in the list or the tree uh, form view, right? So that's fine. It is depends on your requirement whether you want to translate all the fields or you want to translate for the specific fields. That's a school name. after that let's say all right so let's say i will try to change these things only okay i will save this file and after that we will go to here and again i will import so here import i will select this file the csv file i will add here any name like let's say hindi i'm using if you remember the hindi language code was like hi underscore i n let me double confirm all right so you can see this is the short the code of the language and i will replace here that is compulsory and we have to click to this button override okay otherwise it will create a duplicate entries in this backend form so let me import all right it's successfully import and i when i refresh the screen you can see 162 translation is available here all right here you can see some are like some we used here the hindi language right and some which is available same as the english version now let me go to in the school profile and when i will go to here in this list view you can see almost 
labels are changed into the hindi language except this total fees and stat why because we didn't provide that values you can see here the stat then after let's say total fees right we didn't translate so due to that it's available in the english version now let's say if you open this form you you can see almost name is also changed so like that way you can directly change one language to another language translation using this csv file so you don't need to again create any i18 and folder here for the specific language here don't worry about this one i will also cover this part here like how you can create a new po file or let's say the csv file in this module right so this is for the general idea like how you can directly import or export translation here using this import and export feature all right so in our next session i will try to explain how you can generate a po file all right this po file and how we can translate the same same code in this po file if you have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in next session